Hi guys, uh, absolutely great to be here. Um, Breach touched on a lot of fantastic points there. And like I said, I'm gonna look at it from the agency point of view. Um, so my, my background is in performance marketing. So those of you who don't know what performance marketing is, it's evidence-based marketing. So if you look at traditional media like TV, radio, print, very hard to measure the return on some of those things. Um, and if you're running a, you know, a billboard campaign, for example, it might be, um, you know, you've no idea whether it's working or not. And if it's not, it's up there for 12 months and you can't really do a, do a whole pile about it. So my background, sorry, this picture is a little bit old. I've got a, I could do it a haircut. Um, the, the, my background is in performance marketing, like I said, um, specializing in SEO. So search engine optimization and pay-per-click advertising. So pay-per-click and an easy way for you guys to remember. So if you look at the Google search engine, up at the top, there's all those ads, the shopping ads, the ones that uh, Bree just mentioned. Um, and everything under the PPC results are SEO results, so organic listings. Um, so it's about curating your keywords and content in a way that Google can crawl it and rank you for, for, for important keywords. So from top to bottom, bottom on Google, that's what, that's what my background is and that's what I, I specialize in. Um, now, I, I recently moved back to uh, Galway. I was in London for, for a number of years. Moved back to Galway in 2018 to set up my own business uh, at Here Digital. So we're, again, a performance-based uh, marketing agency specializing in PPC, SEO. Um, we also do a huge amount around analytics. So we use AB Commerce Analytics. We use Google, our own Google Analytics platforms. And what we do is try and um, take as much insight and as much data out of um, the analytics platforms um, to give businesses real-time um, information in terms of how they need to be spending the money, where they need to be pulling back, and all that kind of thing. We've recently just become a Google Premier Partner, which uh, we're, we're, we're very delighted about. So that puts us in the top 3% of PPC agencies. Um, and for such a young company, we're, we're absolutely delighted uh, with that. Um, we also do other advertising on other search engines. Bing, you know, I, I know you guys, in Ireland especially, we don't use a huge amount of Bing, but there's actually 30% of the American market that uses, and we've got a lot of clients selling into America that's hugely profitable on Bing. The cost per click is much cheaper than Google as well. Uh, it's a fraction of the price. Um, we also do other things on other search engines, if you are interested. So China will have their own search engine, Baidu, and Russia will have Yandex. Um, maybe not mention Russia too much. Um, so I'm here to, to, I suppose, elaborate, or maybe go, from a digital marketing point of view, go into the awareness and, and acquisition side of things. Um, so an easy way to think of awareness and acquire, and I just want you guys to, to, get, to, to kind of get yourself thinking, right, what's my business? What do I need more of? Do I, should I be doing more of awareness or more acquisition? So I'll, I'll kind of go through it in more detail. So if you're thinking awareness, think push advertising. So anything that's being pushed in your, in your face, so like TikTok ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, that's a lot of push advertising. Um, uh, and the other side of it is acquire, or, or sorry, the pull marketing. So people are actively seeking out what you're looking for. So they're going to search engines, they're going to YouTube, they're going to Google, and actively seeking out what it is that, that you have. So it's, it's they're in market and what you're trying to do is intercept them at that very point where they're about to buy. So one is push, like I said, very much pushing ads in your face, hoping, I suppose, you know, uh, to, to kind of get you at the right moment. Uh, whereas pull marketing, they already have dictated the right moment. They already know what they want. They're just trying to find it. And like I said, you're just trying to be visible there uh, as much as possible when they are, are, are looking for it. Um, so, examples of when to use push marketing. So I get asked this quite a lot. So if you're selling a very niche product or a gadget or something that no one knows about, it is brand new, no one has ever even heard of it, um, you're gonna need to do more uh, push marketing. So more of the Facebook, more TikTok ads, that, that, that kind of thing. Um, if you're launching a new business or a new website, again, it's good to, to just get the name out there um, and you can do it at quite, quite a large scale. Um, if you are launching or releasing new products, again, good time to, 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 to use uh, the push advertising. Um, this is a big one for, for a lot of you guys. Um, you know, you know you're all, you're all have e-commerce stores. 
So a lot of the time you'll be using it for clearing out old stock. Um, Stakem's just, just mentioned that you know, if you've got a, a, you know, a huge abundance of stock that you want to clear out, again, getting that message out, out, out fairly quickly. Um, it's worth mentioning with any of the awareness advertising, um, you'll be driving huge amounts of traffic and impre uh, uh, huge amounts of traffic and impressions, but the conversion rate will be will be lower on on, um, on awareness ads. So that is worth bearing in mind. Now the direct conversion rate, as in you know people buying it, um, but what is the long term value of that? And that's something we'll we'll, we'll talk about in in a, in a minute. Um, so examples of when to use pull marketing. So um, if you already have a business that sells you know, products that people are already looking for. So, you know, if you're selling Fitbits or iPhones or whatever it might be, um, they, they've done all the hard work doing the advertising. You're just trying to be there present when someone's in market trying to buy. So um, if you're also looking to build a steady um, stream of inbound users to your website, so for example, uh, car insurance is, is a good example, so there might be 5,000 people a day roughly searching for car insurance. You want to be at the top of Google, you want to be right there as they are searching for it. Um, so you'll have to do a little bit more of the PPC, like I said, the pay-per-click ads are the are, are, are search engine optimization. Um, if you're trying to uh, remain dominant over certain terms like online DIY store or online suit company, again, you might want to do more of the, the, the pull advertising. So poll will tend to reach a smaller audience than that of push, but the conversion rate is much, much higher. Um, so it's, it, it's important to use a sort of a combination of both. So before spending any money on advertising, um, you have to get the analytics piece right. This is the brain of your, your, your website. Um, so AB Commerce ha have, their, have their own analytics platform. Um, you know, you can you, you use many different ones, but it's so, so important that you're getting everything tracked and measured as best you can. So you might not be able to see, but I've just this is a this is a, a picture of um, an analytics dashboard from one of our clients. And what it does is, I'm sure it, this shows you the overall breakdown of each channel and how it's performing. So, for example, you can see up here, paid search is delivering 15,000 users a month. Um, you know, the conversion rate is is almost 3.7. And it's bringing in 36,000, whatever it might be. Social, you can then see, right, 50,000 users, much, much higher amount of traffic and awareness. The conversion rate is a little bit lower, but again, it's, it's, it's bringing the, 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 uh, the client initially to the website. Um, and, and like I said, if you don't have this tracking element done, um, it's, it's, you're kind of just shooting in the dark a little bit. Um, the AB Commerce platform is very good. At pretty much everything on it is trackable. So if you want to track, Obviously, the main thing that everyone in here should be doing is tracking your e-commerce revenue. That goes, that goes without saying. But if you want to track other things like newsletters, sign-ups, if you want to track you know, phone calls, if you want to track uh, contact forms, again, hugely, hugely important that that is all done because it's only then you'll know where every single penny of your money is going. So you might be like, okay, paid search, running campaigns, I, you know, I'm not seeing much revenue, but it's after generating 50 calls. What happened off the back of those 50 calls, you know? So it's only when you've all the conversion data uh, set up and tracked is, is when you get a, such a clear and, um, you know, accurate picture of how your, your, your business is, uh, is doing. So again, sorry, very super small, but I'm just showing these are a couple of other little analytics and touch points that is very, very important. So in this particular client, um, just by going in, like, like Breed was saying, going in on a Monday morning, having a look at the analytics, seeing what's working, what's not working. Um, so up here we can see that, right, this is a breakdown of locations and how much money each location is making. So for example, you know, London is bringing in the most of the money here, uh, but you can see Edinburgh has the highest conversion rate. So people are more likely to convert in Edinburgh than they are in London. If we know that, we can increase and decrease budgets based on location quite, quite easily. Um, we can also see the, that the 75% of this traffic is female. And we can also see that the majority uh, of the conversions come from 25 to 44 year olds. Um, down here, then you can see that uh, the, the breakdown in device, so mobile, tablet, desktop, and you can see that almost 84% of traffic is coming from mobile, 
and almost 70% of all sales are coming through mobile as well. So already we've got built up a picture of where they're from, so most likely London, female, on their, on their mobile purchasing. And that's, that, it's, that, it's that insight that, um, again, helps so much when it comes to your advertising campaigns and where you should be spending, spending that money. Um, I suppose it's worth mentioning as well, the AB commerce platform is a mobile first platform. Um, and this is very, very uh, typical from most um, e-commerce clients. It is mobile first now. They will have started the journey um, off on their mobile, whether it's on social media or whether it's on Google. The first part of that journey is almost always on mobile. So people be like, oh, you know, don't want to spend too much advertising on mobile. It's, it's so, so important, especially for retailers. You have to be on mobile. Um, and it's only kind of going up and up each year drastically. Um, so that is, like I said, that is a breakdown of the kind of uh, conversions and the conversion touch points and um, uh, giving that extra insight into, into your, your, your customers. Um, now, what do we do with all that data, I suppose? Um, you know, like once, once you get all that information, there's quite a lot to process there, but you're feeding it back into your advertising platforms. And this is super, super important. Um, you, want your, um, you want to be able to give your users a personalized message, personalized advertising. So the first part of the journey that will have started on, um, maybe they the, the might have started on search, um, and then the next part of the journey, they might have bumped to social or whatever it might be. But we can track all that. And while it's important that we're, we're, we're feeding this back into our Google ads, our Facebook ads, um, and trying to get more users like those. So the, the better, um, the, sorry, the, the, the more conversions that you're getting, um, um, the more conversions you're getting from a, from a certain group or demographic, you can then ramp up your advertising spend. Google and Facebook will go out and find similar people to the audiences that you've already had. So making sure your conversion data is super clean is very, very important because if you want to tell Google to go out and get, I want to get 5,000 more users just like this, you have to be feeding it, you know, very, very clean data. Um, so roughly about, it takes about seven interactions for um, a potential customer to become a customer. So if you're not doing any awareness or pull advertising, you're, you're, you're very much reliant on um, your, your own brand name, um, which is fine, or you might be reliant on referral. Uh, again, nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that, but eventually, um, you know, eventually, um, if you're looking to scale or grow into new markets, you can't live on that forever. So doing, doing more awareness and doing more poll advertising is, is absolutely key. I've mentioned uh, um, here there's new campaigns that Google Ads uh, are bringing out. They're quite cutting edge. They're, you know, they're taking that one in seven um, sort of concept and bringing it to the next level. So um, if, like I said, if you think it takes seven, seven times before um, a potential customer becomes an actual customer, um, Google can um, literally, redu uh, sorry, it can trace you, it can follow you and do remarketing back to you across the whole Google network. So performance max campaigns are a new addition to Google ads. So if you're running uh, ads on Google, it'll now show on YouTube, display, search, Gmail, all at the one time. Um, Google have brought this out to really combat um, or compete with Amazon, which has taken a huge amount of their ad revenue. And um, it's an absolutely fantastic campaign. We're, we're trialing and testing for a couple of clients here. And um, again, it's kind, of, it's, it's kind of the future of where advertising is going. Um, but yeah, hopefully that gives you a little bit of a better understanding of, right, the awareness acquisition, where you should be kind of focusing um, and where to start. But like I said, um, you need to first start small and start testing and start scaling. So once you've understood, um, you know, from an analytical point of view, what's working, it's only then you know how much more money you can pump into it. You know, businesses ask us all the time, right, how much money do I need to spend on advertising? It completely depends. You know, we can see immediately what works and what doesn't work through Google Analytics. Uh, and if you're not, if you're not keeping on top of that, you can just you know, spend frivolously. So um, hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight um, of maybe where you guys should start. 
and, um, and, and, how to, and how to scale things. Thank you very much. Cheers.